Hello, welcome to this short act of worship for Advent Sunday. We're actually recording this the day before Advent, myself uh, and Bren, and we're going to focus our thoughts and our prayers around the lighting of the first of our Advent candles. This, of course, is a, 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 sim, a, a ceremony full of meaning and symbolism, as one by one over the Sundays before Advent, we light the candles until finally on Christmas Day, we light the white candle in the centre, representing the coming of Christ. Sometimes people think of the candles as representing the patriarchs, the prophets, John the Baptist and the Virgin Mary, four groups of people with key parts to play in God's story. But rather today we're going to begin thinking about four key virtues or callings of Christians. Hope, today with the first candle, and then peace, joy and love. And these are four things, surely, that we need so much in the world today. And starting with hope seems only right at a time when there seems to be a lot of hopelessness around. So I'm going to say a first prayer or call to worship, and then Bren will come and light the candle for us. So people of God, awake. The day is coming soon when you shall see God face to face. Remember the ways and the works of God, for God calls you out of darkness to walk in the light of his coming, for you are his children. Thank you, Brad. So as we focus on this light, we remember the darkness currently all around us in so many ways. This Advent Sunday is the first Sunday of the church's year. And perhaps when we look back, we look back over a lot of things that have caused us anxiety, fear, and perhaps pain and sorrow too. But when we meet as Christians to worship, we're called to look back not simply at our own experience, but what, at what God has done in the past, especially in the story of Jesus, who first came to earth as Emmanuel, God with us, and one day will come again to bring his kingdom in, a kingdom of love and joy and peace. And we pray that against that background of darkness, we would be able to see and to spread the light of Christ. And so today we have lit, lit the candle for hope. And we pray that God would place that hope in our hearts. Hope based on what he has already done in Jesus. And hope for what he will one, do, one day do as Jesus comes again. As we say in our communion service, Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. Our Christian hope is a confidence in God based on what he's done in the past that gives us faith and hope for what he'll do in the future. Now Bren's going to come and read a short passage of the Bible for us in which St Paul speaks to the Christians at Corinth and calls them to that kind of hope. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. I give thanks to my God always for you because of the grace of God that has been given you in Jesus Christ. For in every way you have been enriched in him in speech and knowledge of every kind, just as the testimony of Christ has been strengthened among you so that you are not lacking in any spiritual gift as you wait for the revealing of our Lord Jesus Christ. He will also strengthen you to the end so that you may be blameless on the day of our Lord Jesus Christ. God is faithful. By him you were called into the fellowship of his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
God is faithful, said St Paul, and what else do we need to know when we do know that God is faithful to his promises? And for that reason we're confident as we come in prayer. So let's pray together for God's church, for our community, for our families, and for God's world. We pray together. In joyful expectation of his coming to our aid, we pray to Jesus. Come to your church as Lord and Judge. And we pray for ourselves who call ourselves Christians. We pray that you would grant us grace to live in hope and faith, confident and faithful to you. Help us to live in the light of your coming and give us a longing for your kingdom. Amen. Come, Lord Jesus. And come, Lord, to your world as King of the nations. And we pray for all those who have earthly authority, for our Prime Minister and Government, for our Parliament, and for all the rulers of the nations. Give them wisdom and grace as they face the perils of this present time, and as they seek to do what is in the interests of their people, that each may act for the good of all. For one day before you, all rulers will stand in silence. Amen. Come, Lord Jesus. And come to the suffering, O Saviour and Comforter. Break into our lives, we pray, and the lives of all those who look back on this past year in sorrow and sadness. We pray that you would bring the light of hope and love into lives riven with sickness and distress. And Lord, use us, we pray, to be bearers of your good news, to be witnesses to your joy, and set us free, we pray, to serve you now and always. Amen. Come, Lord Jesus. And come from heaven, we pray, Lord Jesus, with power and great glory. Lift us up to meet you, that with all your saints and angels we may live and reign with you in your new creation. Come, Lord Jesus, do not delay. Give new courage to your people who trust in your love. And by your coming, raise us to share in the joy of your kingdom on earth as it is in heaven. Amen. Come, Lord Jesus. And so let's join together in praying the words that Jesus himself taught us to pray in faith and hope. Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. And so in the tender mercy of our God, the day spring from on high shall break upon us to give light to those who dwell in darkness and in the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. So may the peace of the Lord be always with you. And now God's blessing as we go our own way. May Christ, the Son of Righteousness, shine upon you, scatter the darkness from before your path, and make you ready to meet him when he comes in glory. And may the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you now and remain with you always. Amen. Well, may God bless you all, and I hope to see each and every one of you soon.